can never get over that view. It wouldn't be a shot from the back of the truck without some type of review. <laughs> it's kind of become a thing a little bit. So I actually had a, had a couple people on Instagram message me and they wanted to know my EDC or everyday carry. After going back and forth with them, I think what they're looking for is my actual everyday regular stuff that I carry, not uh, when I am out exploring, which that's usually different stuff, so I'll do that in a different video. But yeah, let's just go through it. This is gonna be a short, short and sweet one. My keys, nothing exciting at all. Literally just has a couple of keys on it, truck key, um, just a little bit of paracord that I put on there, just as a little something to grab onto in my pocket. Uh, one thing though that sounds really funny, but I have now on any of my key rings, I have a nail clipper on there. It's the smaller one, meant for your fingernails. It's a video I watched of uh, James May, stuff that he likes to carry. Uh, makes a lot of sense because when it's on your keychain, if you're going somewhere that doesn't allow like pocket knives or multi-tools, um, they usually, I mean, not necessarily, but they usually won't mind if that's on your key ring. So like, obviously you can clip it, you can use it to clip strands of like thread or if you have, you know, um, some of them have a little like file, like nail pick thing. And it's just, you know, just a handy little thing. You could probably, I guess, use that in a pinch for like a flathead, but I've never done that. But anyway, it's just small enough. I don't have many on my keys, so it's just one of those things that I threw on when I saw that video and then I've actually used it quite a bit ever since. So, but my keys I carry usually in my front right pocket. So front left pocket is usually my phone. Um, actually right now it's an iPhone 13 mini actually. They did away with the mini so I don't know what I'll do when this one goes kaput but they do really good with updates so I've never had any issues with it and I like the small form factor and that's literally just a Spigen basic black case from Amazon so I'll link any of this stuff down below if I can. Uh, also in my front right pocket is a Victorinox. Uh, this is the Super Tinker. So it's got the couple extra compared to just the regular Tinker. And I actually have it on a KeySmart pocket clip. That's nice for like no matter what I'm wearing, it like holds it. It's not flopping around in my pocket. Actually, usually it's funny. Usually in the summertime, I carry this, the Victorinox. And usually in the wintertime, I carry my um, Leatherman Skeletool. I think that's mostly just because of the fact that I like having those that small form factor with the pliers, uh, especially when I'm out like snowshoeing, if I have to do anything. But this is just seems that little bit lighter um, and it's got those extra extra tools in it or whatever that use all the time. And I know I have something to cut with with the fingernail clippers, but um, like I said, you can't always uh, take pocket knives in certain places or certain areas. So, um, but yeah, that's usually what I carry um, in the summertime is the Victorinox uh, Super Tinker in my right pocket. Then in my back pocket, I have just a basic, this is a um, Columbia front pocket wallet, but it doesn't have, it doesn't have a money clip. It doesn't have um, any fold out like build holder. So it's fairly narrow. Um, I honestly just, I don't carry that much stuff year round. Like I just don't, might have like a little bit of cash in there, which there's multiple pockets for, but a couple of cards, driver's license, insurance, I mean, just, basically the bare essentials, but I could, you know, it's got that center pocket where you could put more stuff if you need to, but I don't even know if I'll be able to find this. Somebody gave this to me, <laughs> no joke, somebody probably gave this to me probably more than 10, 10 years ago, uh, maybe even 15 years ago. It's leather, it's held up great. And I think it technically has that RFID blocking, but yeah, it has just been a good solid wallet. Wallets are something for me where because I don't carry a lot usually in my wallet, I just don't need a lot. So I know there's a lot of wallets out there. A lot of people online, I know like the Ridge wallet. Actually, I'm not a fan usually of the hard wallet. I've tried a couple different wallets over the years. I've never tried Ridge, but I've tried a couple different wallets and they just, uh, they didn't, I don't know. They just didn't sit with me. It's kind of like, I think, people with phone cases. It's just really hard to find the right one, if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, usually in my back right pocket. Up next, I usually wear some type of watch. This one is Timex Expedition, just in the green. It's just a digital watch. Uh, they 
but on Amazon you can find pretty much any of the these type of watches. It's inexpensive and if it works then I don't know why you change it. <laughs> also I have different ones sometimes I wear during work or if I don't want to wear this one's fairly high profile. I have a very I have a slimmer silver one that I believe is also a Timex. I'd have to look it up. But these ones I should be able to find online. Yeah, it just has the Indiglo and a couple different modes, so it's good for tracking like how long I've been out or if I want to see how long a hike takes or something like that, but just can't go wrong with a basic simple watch. Obviously a wedding ring. This is just one of those uh, silicone rings. Um, they hold up great. I seem to like the silicone ones better because they just have the give to them while I'm working or while I'm outside. If something happens to them, it's not hard to replace or expensive to replace. So as far as my everyday carry, that's it. Phone, keys, wallet, watch, wedding ring, some type of multi-tool. Uh, this one happens to be the Victorinox right now, but usually, like I said, in the winter time when it's not as hot, I like to take the Leatherman Skeletool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to head back down the mountain. I uh, just wanted to get out today, do some exploring on the road, work on a couple of videos, get this one out to you. Hopefully it answers the questions of the messages that I got, but like I said, I'll probably do another one, specifically the stuff that I like to take with me when I'm out exploring not necessarily in my pack because I've already done one of those but what I actually usually have on my person but I'm gonna take uh, in this view a little bit longer and then head back down the mountain till next time get out there and explore